Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You look so good. Who told you to look this fine today? So, get into the makeup. Hold on. Hold on. So, here's today's makeup. It's giving. It's giving. Wait a minute. Take a picture. Take a picture. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get ready. Let me get ready. Bro, I look good. I look good. I look so good. I mean, you look good too. I feel like it's been a minute. Has it been a minute? I mean, it always feels like a long time when I take a day off. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I feel like it's a long time when I take a day off. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, like I said. But I feel like I've been gone for too long. Even though I've just been gone for like a day. But outside of that, we do have part two of our Jimmy introduction video. We're not going to talk today. Because I feel like I talk way too much than I need to in some of these videos. And I'm just like, mm, girl, as I, as I keep talking now. Let's get into the video. The last one is... Yeah, it's a wonderful guy. It's <laughs> Jimmy. Oh, how does he get it right? Well, I don't know. Yes. Everybody has to know his name. Korean media has given Jimin various iconic titles, such as Korea's It Boy, Global It Boy, Face of K-Pop, Sold Out King. This, of course, is no surprise. Jimin's music records, exceptional dance skills, and impact in the music and fashion industry speak for themselves. Moving right along, the fashion king Jimin seems to be grabbing attention from various people and brands in fashion. In 2019, when St. Laurent couldn't reach Big Hit, they contacted a Jimin fan site to ask permission to post one of his photos at their headquarters in Paris in Asia. When the news was out that BTS will be walking the LV fashion show and a teaser was released, LV Men's artistic director Virgil Abloh shared a video of Jimin from the set teaser. Input Mag mentioned Jimin's opening look saying that, Jimin, widely considered the most fashionable of the band members, opens the show in a light marble suit and gold sunglasses. He was also mentioned by Vogue claiming that those engraved wraparound logo shades never looked as cool as they do on Jimin. After the show, Jimin got a new nickname, LV's front man. Jimin is the only member of BTS and the second male idol ever to be a part of business of fashion, where those who are global icons that shape the global fashion industry only get you to be better. a part of. The same year GQ included Jimin among GQ's magazine's best dressed men of the week. Jimin's fashion impact continues with his power to sell out anything he is associated with. Some of the things include various magazines with Jimin's front cover, clothes, jewelry and accessories, merchandise, food and drinks. The media also likes to refer to Jimin as a frontman. This comes from Jimin's brand power and the fact that, even if you don't know about K-pop, you probably have heard about Jimin. Some examples to back up his titles can be when Global Big Data Research Institute ranked the then latest mobile models of three brands and the Samsung Galaxy S20 had ranked number one on the survey. With the latest release and marketing effects, it was mentioned by the Institute that the advertisement with BTS Jimin also seems to have had a big impact. Jimin has also what? increased the world interest toward tteokbokki stir-fried rice cakes after his visit to a local tteokbokki street stall, with sales increasing by 25% instantly. Jimin was mentioned in a report that talked about a tteokbokki brand selling out in the boom of Korea's processed rice export. The same thing happened with a ramen brand. Media reported that Jimin boosted the sales of Samyang by 158% in the U.S. and 33% in China, also proving his strong marketing power. In 2018, The Guardian listed the 30 best boy band members. Jimin ranked 17th. M and G Dragon were only K idols to be on that list. Jimin has also been a hot topic amongst non-K-pop fans since the very beginning. If you didn't know K-pop, you probably heard about Jimin. That's why his name was on the trending topic even in 2014 when BTS were still rookies. Korea's frontman Jimin is also the face of tourism. He contributes to the economy with his influence as a world-renowned artist. Jimin is drawing attention by being used to promote tourism in Busan and Seoul. In the middle of September, we also got to find out that LV frontman Jimin was the reason that BTS became LV ambassadors. Just recently, Jimin showed his brand power again. When on BTS off time, he went to Jeju Islands. After posting a couple of pictures on his new personal Instagram profile, the tourism in places where he visited flourished. He even got his own photo zone and you could receive gift vouchers if you took photos at this zone. Jeju also jumped from 19th to 2nd place on city brand reputation in Korea. Other rightful titles that Jimin has earned all throughout his career are Stage Commander and Stage Genius, Dance King and Rookie's Bible. 
Jimin's solo performances are called the rite of passage in Korea as many rookie and junior idols cover them and Jimin is referred to as Rookie's Bible. Usually they do the dance and the singing part separately though. Jimin chooses his words carefully and thoughtfully with some parts highlighting his emotions. Fans also love that Jimin is never false positive. He respects everyone's circumstances, finds the light in darkness. That's why it's so easy to connect with him and seek comfort and healing from his presence or words. <laughs> A lot of times after Jimin's B-Lives or some of the interviews, you will see Korean fans once again. This is my bias. Again, being amazed by Jimin's vocabulary, his choice of words and sincerity behind them. He has also been praised by experts for his speech at various events. One of them would be the annual Youth Day where Jimin delivered his speech without any script with elegance and sincerity. And most recent would be the speech that he presented at UN General Assembly. <laughs> Some fans also have noticed that in interviews he will mostly give really well detailed yet at the same time generalized answers about himself. He only tells what you need to know, not what you want to know, yet you feel like he gave away a lot of new information about himself. <laughs> It seems that he is also a supportive shoulder to lean on for his band members and even someone to look up to for the older members. They speak so highly of him. We need to protect him at all costs. Period. Let's not forget Jimin's sweet and caring soul. He never forgets to thank the ones that are by his side and always expresses his sincere gratitude to the fans. One of the many sweet things is Jimin hashtagging his tweets with our armies won an award again, whenever BTS receives an award at an award show. Going back to Jimin's speaking style, a lot of Korean fans also point out that Jimin writes his sentences in a structure that is really easy to translate for international fans. Yeah, 
소리가 안 나왔었던 것 같아요. 그러다 보니까 느꼈던 거는 아 스스로를 먼저 사랑해야지 뭔가 마음의 문이 열릴 수가 있구나 그런 생각을 했던 것 같아요. 그리고 그게 맞는 것 같고 어, 사람들에게도 팬분들에게도 좀 같이 나누고 싶다는 생각을 많이 했었던 것 같습니다. 지금 좀 커보니까 우는 거를 참는 건참안 좋은 건것 같아요. 울고 싶을 때도 좀 울어야 쌓는 것만큼 나쁜 건 없는 것 같아요. 뭐 학교에 그냥 금방 적응하더라고요. 그래도 뭐 지민이 많이 좋아하고 이번에 제가 너무 고 나갔을 때 사진을 응원해 준게 아직까지 너무 너무 고마운 것 같아요. 진짜 네 평생 못 잊을 것 같아요. 네, 제가 원래 이제 사인 같은 것도 일부러 안 달라요. 같은 연습생이었던 멤버 형이 사인 좀 받아달라고 너무 팬이라고 그래가지고 아 뭐라 해야 되지 그냥 아 진짜 난감했어요 아 근데 여기서 또 지민 인성이 나오는 게 진짜 최고인 게 직접 다른 멤버들 멤버분들이 사인까지 다 받아주는 거예요 진짜 와 그래서 그때 또 느낀 게 모든 사람이 잘 된다고 변하는 건 아니구나 원성이 착한 사람은 착하고 Counter-Ari 2 is quite serious, wise and mature personality. Jimin also He knows how to entertain a crowd, by. on stage or off stage. You can see this more in the BTS run episodes, where Jimin lets loose. He seems to toss any competitiveness that he has aside and just has a fun time, entertaining the show's audience and not taking himself too seriously. <laughs> <laughs> in the end, this naturally gifted and talented man just wants to be on stage and perform in front of the crowd. <laughs> This love for stage reflects in an answer he gave in a Weverse interview. I don't consider my main profession performing and singing as going to work. But when I'm doing something else with the camera right in front of me that feels like work. Singing and performing for our fans isn't work. It's something I really, really want to do. I respect that. I respect Jimin has always been exemplary. From his younger school years till now, he has always been someone you can look up to and learn from. We hope after watching this video you continue to stay and support our wonderful Jimin. More Jimin videos, articles and fan bases in the description box. We love us a good icon. For the looks of it, he's been eating his whole entire life. From, you might as well say from kindergarten on up. This right here is a proud girlfriend. I'm a proud freaking girlfriend. When I tell you that I literally sat here and I learned more than that freaking guy to BTS, I learned about everyone else when it came to Jimin, you got like four answers and then on to the next part. Like, I don't know if y'all felt that way, but I definitely felt that way watching the guy to BTS. And it wasn't, it wasn't that much in there for me to know about my man and who I'm actually dating at the moment. Well, dating forever, soon to be married. They gave me like a little sprinkle and they said, next. Ah. Miss girl or Miss boy. Really? Is that who we are? You're just going to give me a, a sprinkle? I need to know about my man. You know, 
I have to be able to see him in real life and, you know, go, I know you did this, 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 this. So, you know, it'll be easier for me to get with him. You know, this one gave me everything I needed to know. And, uh, <laughs> teach me your ways. <laughs> I really need all of them to teach me their ways because honey, y'all are icons. Y'all are legends. Everyone loves him. Don't get me wrong. Everyone loves them all. I love them all. But Jimmy, he has some type of effect on him to make you just want to, like, I don't know. Like, he's interesting, like, mysterious. Sugar to me is mysterious, too. Like, I want to, is there a guy to him, like, I want to know, I want to know more about him as well. Like, I'm ready to get some sugar from you. But I'm going to tell you one thing. Jim ain't going to eat. Okay? He's going to make sure we're fed. All of them are going to make sure we're fed. Just like that one time, you know, V came in with that Christmas is beginning to... Your girl did not miss JK's live. I just need to put that in there. Because I missed the last one. But I didn't miss this one. You know, I can't really do a reaction on it because I've, I've seen everything. So, it's just like, that would be so fake of me to come on here and give you guys something i already seen. That won't be right. I don't know what the heck I was doing at the crack of ass early, early in the morning. And he was on live and I, but Jimin, the man you are. BTS, the men that you are. A successful businessman. I love the fact that he acknowledges ARMY. Like, oh, that is so beautiful. Like, they all do it. It feels so good. It feels so good to be acknowledged. Like, even though I want you to respond back to my text that I sent you on Instagram, I should do a video exposing my DMs with celebrities. <laughs> In my head, I think that they're going to see it. So this comes to the end of the video. And if you guys stayed, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate every last one of you guys. And especially if you stayed to the end because you didn't have to, but you did. And it really gave the girls a run for the money. And <laughs> yeah, um, I love the video. I love learning more about my bias. <laughs> and, you know, until the next video. Did I say until next videos? I meant until the next videos. Girl, what do I be thinking sometimes? I, I don't know. I have like trillions of things in my brain. I don't know. I couldn't even tell you. Um, But yeah, love you guys. Hope you like the makeup, you know, in the video. Hope you like the video and hope you like learning with me. Okay. Um, Bye, guys. Um, See you guys in the next video. And I said love you guys. Mwah. Peace.